Hey everyone, Dave here. These are the three Logitech wireless headsets available for being used for work in 2024. We're gonna compare out the differences between these three headsets as far as features, pricing, and of course, later on in this video, we're gonna test out the noise canceling microphones of each of them against barking dogs and even a crazy loud blender so you can hear the performance for yourself. All of these models are going to work with your work applications such as Microsoft Teams, Zoom, Google Meet, and much more. Of course, the speakers and microphones will work, but also it's gonna give you the ability to wirelessly be able to answer and calls, adjust volume, or mute or unmute your microphone. Logitech is supporting a new technology called native Bluetooth functionality, which allows you to get these same features I just mentioned, except you don't need to have a USB dongle. So historically, you would need a USB dongle in order to get those features to work with Microsoft Teams. But now with Logitech, you can save the money not having to buy a dongle and free up one of your USB ports. We did a full in-depth video review of this feature that we'll have linked in the video description below or up here. There are three wireless headsets available from Logitech. You have the Zone 305, the Vibe Wireless, and the Zone Wireless 2. The Logitech Zone 305 is their most entry-level Bluetooth headset that's available. It's based on their best-selling wired headset, the H390, except now it's wireless. Available in a stereo wearing style, it covers both your ears and it has soft leatherette ear cushions that swivel like on a ball joint to help customize the fit. You have an adjustable headband and a soft leatherette cushion at the top of the headband to help increase the comfort. Weighing under five ounces gives it a lightweight feeling, meaning people can wear the headset for a full day without too much fatigue. Powered with a Bluetooth version 5.3, you'll get about 50 to 100 feet of wireless range, and you're gonna get 16 hours of battery life with a USB-C port at the bottom of the headset for recharging. The noise canceling microphone boom is dedicated on the left side and cannot be worn on the right side. And to mute the microphone, you can lift the microphone boom up and to unmute it, you drop it down. There is no physical button for muting. There are four physical buttons on the headset. You have your power on and pairing button, volume up, volume down, and your call control button, which can also pause or play music. You can download the free app called Logitune, which allows you to see the status of the headset, such as battery life. You can update the firmware in order to keep it up to date and performing its best, and also adjust settings of the headset. One feature a lot of our customers prefer is this feature called Side Tone, which allows you to hear a little bit of your voice back through the headset so you can talk more naturally. And on the Logitune software, you're able to adjust the side tone of any of these Logitech headsets from 0% all the way up to 100%. And it gets quite loud, one of the loudest side tones that I've ever tested. Speaker sound quality now isn't going to blow you away, but it's decent enough to listen to music, podcasts, and of course, good enough for your phone calls and meetings. It's priced at $99. That includes the USB dongle. However, you can get it without the USB dongle for $69.99. That's with the native Bluetooth functionality that we talked about earlier in the video. The Zone 305 is good if you're looking for an entry level plug and play headset that's easy to use and it's gonna give you quite decent performance. Now it's not gonna have all the bells and whistles and extra features, but overall solid performance. Now, before you go to Amazon to purchase these headsets, we do have them available on our website at headsetadvisor.com forward slash Logitech or linked on the screen here. And that helps support our small family owned business. Plus, if you use coupon code YouTube, you can get even more savings. Plus we ship fast and free. And if you're deploying these to a team of people, reach out to our team here at Headset Advisor, send us to an email to info at headsetadvisor.com and we can verify which model is best for your situation, verify compatibility with your phone systems and even get you demo units. So make sure to reach out to one of our friendly advisors. 
Next up is the Logitech Vibe. This is also another entry level wireless Bluetooth headset priced at $99. However, it has oversized ear cushions that fully enclose your ears, which provides more sound protection for what's going on around you. Plus, some people just find the wearing style of fully enclosing your ears more comfortable. The ear cushions are made from a cloth wrapped memory foam type material, which is super soft and plushy. Unlike the Zone 305, which has a more leatherette style uh, donut ear cushion. The speakers are adjustable, so you can change the height of the speakers. Plus they're uh, mounted on a ball joint, so it kind of customizes the shape and fit to your head to really enhance the comfort level. The 40 millimeter speakers are a bit larger than on the Zone 305, and they produce a better sound quality for music, so you're gonna have better bass, more volume, overall a better sound experience as far as the speakers go. The microphone boom is located on the left side, it cannot be worn on the right, and it uh, lifts up and kind of hides away into the headset, making it look more like a pair of headphones. Then you can drop down the mic to take advantage of the noise canceling microphone for your calls and meetings. Utilizing Bluetooth 5.2, it gives you up to 50 to 100 feet of wireless freedom. Plus you'll get about 18 hours of battery life and you have a USB-C port on the bottom of the headset for recharging. There are five buttons on the headset. You have your power on off pairing, volume up, volume down, answer or end calls. And on the right speaker, you have one button for pause or play music. It's dedicated for it. The Vibe Wireless is a bit of a unique headset since there aren't many work headsets that fully enclose your ears. Plus it's priced under $100, which makes it a really good value and a unique offering. Last up is the Logitech Zone Wireless 2, which is a Bluetooth wireless headset that has active noise cancellation. In addition, it has some additional AI noise canceling features that they've added. The design of the Zone Wireless 2 is a bit more modern, has new angles and styles to it. It's made from a graphite flat gray color, and they even embedded silicone at the top of the headband that allows you to clean the headset a bit easier. The speakers rotate 180 degrees, so you're able to lay the headset flat on a desk or position the microphone boom closer to the corner of your mouth. Overall gives you more ability to customize the fit for the speakers, making it more comfortable. The microphone boom is able to rotate 270 degrees, so you're able to wear the microphone boom on either the right side of your face or the left side of your face. So if you have a preference for either, you have the choice with the Zone Wireless 2. The ear cushions are made from a super soft leatherette ear cushion, which is not only comfortable, but it also provides some more sound protection, which helps with the active noise cancellation feature, which is a feature that's designed to help you concentrate when you really need to concentrate on work that requires focus. There are four physical buttons on the headset, you have your power on and pairing. You have your ANC on or off button, answer or end calls, or launch Microsoft Teams. And on the opposite speaker, you actually have three touch sensitive buttons that you can swipe up for more volume, swipe down for less, or double tap for pause and play music. That works pretty well. The speaker sound quality is also improved. It's loud and powerful. Sounds great for music and of course your phone calls and meetings. One unique feature about the Zone Wireless 2 is it has a feature they call advanced call clarity. If you can imagine you're a customer service agent that's talking to a customer that's using their speaker phone and has a crying baby, there's nothing you can do about it because you have a noise canceling microphone, it can't control the far end of a call. However, with advanced call clarity, it's a feature that uses AI. So in the headset speakers, will remove the crying baby noise so that you can hear the customer more clearly, which is quite an amazing feature. 
The price of the Zone Wireless 2 is $249. That includes the USB dongle. But when they release the model with native Bluetooth functionality will be about $20 to $30 less without the USB dongle. Considering the features and performance, the Zone Wireless 2 is priced well for the market. If you're wondering how the microphone performs on each of these models, have a listen for yourself. All right, now this is what it sounds like on the Zone 305 in a quiet environment. This is what the microphone quality sounds like. All right, now this is the Logitech Zone Vibe Wireless. This is what it sounds like in a quiet environment and what the microphone sound quality sounds like when it's uh, no background noise. All right, now this is what it sounds like on the Logitech Zone Wireless 2 in a quiet environment. This is what the microphone sound quality sounds like with no background noise. This is what it sounds like with typing going on in the background with the Zone 305. This is what it sounds like. All right, this is what it sounds like with typing going on in the background with the Zone Vibe Wireless. And this is what it sounds like with typing going on in the background with the Zone Wireless 2. And this is what it sounds like with dogs barking going on in the background. This is what it sounds like. This is what it sounds like with barking dogs with the Zone Vibe Wireless. This is what it sounds like. All right, this is what it sounds like with barking dogs with the Zone Wireless 2 and barking dogs going on in the background. This is what it sounds like with crying babies going on in the background with the Zone 305. This is what it sounds like. And this is what it sounds like with crying babies going on in the background with the Zone by Wireless. This is what it sounds like with crying babies going on in the background with the Zone Wireless 2. This is what it sounds like. And this is what it sounds like with a roaring blender next to the Zone 305. This is what it sounds like. And this is what it sounds like with a roaring blender next to the Zone by Wireless. And this is what it sounds like with a roaring blender with the Logitech Zone Wireless 2 and a loud blender in the background. What did you think of the microphone performance? Which one do you think performed the best? Drop your thoughts in the comment section below. If you wanna save more on these headsets, make sure you shop on our website, headsetadvisor.com forward slash Logitech and use coupon code YouTube to get even more savings. And if you're looking to deploy these for a team of people, please reach out to our team, call, email, or live chat, and one of our advisors can help assist you uh, making sure it's compatible, get you demos, and much more. That's all I got for you on this video. If you need more microphone noise cancellation, we just released a new noise canceling software app called Neat Noise Canceling. It is an app you download onto your computer and no matter what headset or microphone you have will block out most background noises like dogs barking or people talking in the background. We did a full in-depth review video. You can check that video out right up here. Other than that, that's all I got for you on this video. We will see you on the next one.